Hello everybody and welcome back to God of the Dead. In the last episode we found this nice little house that I did exactly what I said I was going to do and hid in a corner of all night. Nothing, ha nothing interesting happened at night. I heard some footsteps walking around outside but uh, nobody bothered me, nobody was seemed interested, this is good. Uh, in this episode, I need to find a water source so I can fill up my many glass jars. Uh, what else do I need to do? Uh, we wanted to go check out that village. Where is that village? Hang on, let's pull up the map. It is right in there, isn't it? All right, let's set me a waypoint. 0.3 kilometers. Ooh, I am really close to that village. Uh, on the map, it is that away. All right. Well, let's go check outside and see if there's anything vicious trying to kill me. I see a couple of zombies. But just a couple. I can handle those. She's found me. He's found me. All right. Who's going to bother me first? Ooh, there's one over there. And... Oh, that's a very glitchy tree back there. Oh, that must be the draw distance. Okay, I see. It's going from uh, 2D sprites to 3D tree. And that must be the draw distance. Alrighty. Oh, there's another bloody zombie. These guys are everywhere. Hmm. I'm going to have to do something about this. I'm going to have to figure out how to do something about this, because I can't spend every single morning killing the bloody zombies. Uh, I was going to say, I heard another one. All right, so that's that. Let's see, do we get anything actually useful? Short iron pipe, those are useful. Wood planks, another glass jar, very useful. Uh, brass, brass, the zombies are despawning, I better hurry the hell up. Wood plank, bring the book. I know, I'm still not grabbing all of the things that I probably should be grabbing. But this is very early on in the game, so I'm only grabbing the things that are directly, noticeably useful to me right now. And that's not a lot of things. Oh, by the way, while I was crouched in a corner hiding, I look, made me some armor. So I got chest armor, head armor, cloth boots, uh, was going to make leggings, but I am one cloth piece short, and I need two cotton to fix that problem. Conveniently, finding cotton around here is easy. Alright, we're playing. Oh, and there's some cloth fragments. Okay, now I should be able to make that, uh, or, um, yeah, my. Leg armor. That's another bloody zombie. Good thing you could hear these things from a mile away. Come on. There we go. Uh, again, I know I can use that stuff. I just... Y you find it everywhere. It's not exactly hard to find. Uh, blah, blah, blah. More. Leg armor. Yeah, this is what I was missing. So let us make this real quick. Bloop, bloop. I still like the crafting system in this game. I, I really do. I like how it has, you know, the recipes right here. I like how it has... Oh, and it suddenly dawned on me. I don't think you can see my mouse cursor. Okay. Yeah, I like how it has the recipes on the left. I like how it takes time to craft things. Definitely makes things interesting. All right, so that gives me a little bit of armor. Even though 
it's not a hell of a lot of armor, because it's just cloth. Uh, Alright, so we still need a water source, and I'm going to make that priority number one. That's a pig. It's good to know that there's wildlife around here, and that's a bag. I like finding bags. Shotgun receiver, iron reinforced club, with... Eight entity damage. I heard something walking. I don't see anything. Alrighty, moving along. We have a nice place to start mining right here. This is nice. This is a hell of a place to build shop. Hmm. Got lots of trees that I can tear out. I plan on, by the time I'm done, having this entire area flattened, basically. Gonna be no grass, no trees, nothing. Can of stock. Brown plaid shirt. Now I have a choice. Hunting rifle stock. Ah, glass jar. Shotgun barrel. There were apparently hunters living out in this area. Hmm. Though one would think that they would build their shack near a water source. But apparently not. Seriously, there's no water around here? Holy crap. Empty cans. What the hell are you? The hell were you? Yeah. Water source. Nice. Now I can fill up my bottles, my jars. Hi, zombie. Bye, zombie. Come on, one more. There we go. So I was reading up the wiki. Uh, just poking around at it. And there's some interesting things I learned. The amount of damage done by a weapon, like the stone axe that I'm using or pretty much any other weapon is a calculated thing. It's calculated based on stamina. Uh, yeah, the damage rating of the weapon and the durability of the weapon. So as the durability goes down, the damage goes down. Oh, damn it. Ugh. I, I, I quite despise that, too. I clicked too fast. Now I... I right-clicked... Or, I right-clicked as I was switching between items, and it drank from the original. Bastard. So now I have dysentery. I have no idea what that actually means. There's my house. There's my house. I can fix that problem easily enough. There's a zombie. That's probably what it means, though, is I just... Well, I do nasty things in my pants and uh, draw zombies. So let's go home and let's take care of this really quick before we head out to the village. Because that's where we'll go next. We'll go to the village and, uh, you know, see what we can find there. See if we can find anything good. Hopefully we can find some books, possibly some good weapons... Maybe, maybe a nice axe. A fire axe would be really nice. Bloop. Bloop. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Campfire is over here. Do I have my pot on me? I do. Pot in there. I have my wood. So I need you. Cook time, five minutes. Ooh, I, I'm just going to do one right now. Because that way I can get this done real quick. So 20 seconds. Which I believe can be done like this. Oh, apparently not. Oi. It's hoping to be a little bit more efficient, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently cooking also causes noise and draws zombies too. Like everything causes noise and draws zombies. Kind of nuts. All right, so let's put one bottle there. Let's get some golden rod. Cook you up. Oh, I need... Fuck it. Do that. 
So we'll cook up some goldenrod. Apparently I'm hungry. All right, let's see. Uh, I have lamb ration. Let's eat some lamb. Which drops my hydration, but that's not a problem. I'll take care of that real quick right now. Just gotta wait a few more seconds until I get my goldenrod tea, and then I'll cook up the rest of the murky water. Boop, and a boop. All right, so I need a bit more fuel. Apparently I need even more fuel. There we go, that'll be enough. Cook. I hate how I have to tell it to cook. That's actually kind of annoying. I know why they did it, I just don't like it. All right, so goldenrod tea. We'll take care of my dysentery and most of my hydration. Very nice. And I still have food and I've got plenty of water so we can let that cook. And let's head off to that uh, little town. Which should be just over the next hill considering how freaking close I am. Uh, what I should do... I probably have the items to do it. I do. I should make myself a spare axe. You know, just in case. Just in case this one dies and I need another one. Thought I heard somebody walking. Apparently not. Small stone. Boop. I still think I'm hearing somebody walking around out there. Hmm. But I'm not. Alright, moving along. There's somebody over there, but I don't care. There's somebody over there, but they're still too far away. What do chrysanthemums do? Oh, I lost my flag. There we go. <laughs> the mouse is still too sensitive. Uh, I'm still not used to it. So I turned so quick and... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I turned too quick and I lost my bearings. Happens a lot to me in this game. Ooh, there we go. Uh, book, brass candlestick, rotten flesh, don't care. Don't know what rotten flesh does. I don't know if it does anything useful. Maybe it's like dire emergency food or something. I don't know. It's a lady dressed up as a nurse for Halloween. You know those stupid, sexy nurse outfits? However, they tend to carry... Well, I guess that qualifies as medicine. It's grain alcohol. Works well enough as medicine, at least in this game. Alright. Let's keep going. Let's actually get to this little city here. Yep, yeah, right there. I've got plenty of zombies to worry about. I also have that little cliff to worry about when I run away. Did I go in that store already? Because the doors are open. Oh, no they're not. They were. <laughs> draw distance. Yeah, I had to turn down the draw distance. So I could actually record this. There's a zombie trying to dig her way into the hill. All right, good luck with that. All right, let's kill some of these zombies. Got to clear out some of these zombies so I can actually make a raid with my slow axe. Maybe if I'm very, very, very lucky, I can find something useful. Hmm. Sometimes I think you can pick those up, but sometimes you can't. Far, far easier way into the store. Let's see. Nothing. Book, brass trophy. Coffee beans in the foul trash. Yes, I'm going to grab coffee beans from the foul trash. Empty can. Can't get in there. 
I heard something that sounded like a pig, but I don't think is a pig. That door usually has stuff, useful stuff behind it. There's a fucking deer in here. What the shit? Okay, I was planning on killing it, but I don't think I planned that one out too well. <laughs> I hear something banging on something. Man, is there nothing around here? Holy shit. There's nothing in this store. Is this the way out, or is this the way into the back? I actually don't know. I'm about to find out. No, it's a way into the back. This is good. Because there might actually be something useful back there, unlike the front of the store, which seems to have already been cleared out. What if that means there's more survivors around here? Yeah, probably not. It was probably the zombies before they turned into zombies that cleared out the store. Which I guess makes sense. You know, the last time I tried to record this series, before uh, the other episode, before the first episode, uh, a floating sink. Okay. Uh, yeah, the first time I tried, or the last time I tried to record this series, in the first, like, five minutes, I got infected. <laughs> Kinda sucked. Didn't know what I could do about it. I know you can cure yourself, but I don't know how. Figured I'd have to look at the wiki for that. Figure I'll still probably at some point have to look at the wiki for that. Wood planks. Scrap lead. Yeah, I know where it is. If I ever find a use for it, I'll come back for it. There's still electricity in the in all of these places. Wonder where the electricity comes from. I mean, if you think about it, yeah, I wonder how long this has all happened. That we still have electricity in places, but everything is run down. Apparently, there was a nuclear war. Apparently, there was a random virus. Chances are that's not coincidence. You know what they say about coincidences. The universe is rarely so lazy. So, there's a good chance that those two are related. Hopefully, if I'm very, very lucky, and there is a story in this game, we can actually figure out what actually happened. That would be sweet. I'm still hearing all kinds of noises. When my axe broke, I thought I heard something behind me. I'm wearing big honking over-the-ear headphones, so I think it's kind of screwing with me. I don't know. Nice axe would be really useful. That way I can cut through this stuff faster. Should probably make that a priority, getting me an axe. Though I don't know how to make one. Probably have to find a book, if it's even possible to craft them. And then I'd have to find the book. Everything else is just luck on if you find it or not. I don't know. wonder how much of this game has, like, RPG-like elements. I don't know if any of it does, actually. I don't know if there's, uh... I, I mean, like, your, your health and stamina can drop and go up due to your wellness uh, level. But I don't know if that qualifies as an RPG-like element. I guess it's pretty close to an RPG-like element. What time is it? 1 p.m. Come on. Thank you. Alright, there's the back door. I can't get into any of these bloody crates. Ooh, a safe. Uh, lead trophy. Searching the wall safe. Little tiny itty bitty wall safe. Takes 20 seconds to search. Big freaking filing cabinet. Takes... Two seconds to search. Okay. Ooh, pistol book, hunting knife, hunting rifle bolt, and pump shotgun stock. Not very useful. Uh, old sham sandwich, feather, and a book. So, yeah, this store was a complete wash. There was nothing useful in here. Is there anything over here? A couple cabinets. 
I hear a zombie outside. No, nope, nothing good. Yep, zombie found me. Hi. This is not easy to do single player. It really isn't. Because you have to worry about all of the bloody zombies. You don't have anybody watching your back. I just let that guy keep walking. I can pick up the cinder blocks, but I can't pick up the scrap iron. Which I guess makes sense. I beams are kind of large. I can imagine it'd be quite difficult to carry them around. Oh, you turned around, you bastard. Fine, I'll kill you. All right, then we got a climber. Oh, I guess spider zombie is the proper term for him. Scrap lead. I don't know if scrap lead is useful to me right now, but whatever. There's a crawler there. I hear something. There's a bunny. Oh, that's a deer? I was going to say, what the fuck is that? It's that same bloody deer. All right, let's get in here. I'd go in through the windows, because that's, like, the easy way to get in, but the windows don't, uh... The windows aren't within easy reach. Keeping an eye out, or an ear out for noises, I should say. There's a zombie right there. That'll get him to knock down that and get me into the kitchen that much easier. And I'll kill him. It's just one zombie. It's not hard. Do I hear anything else? Here, see a crawler there. Giving up on trying to knock this thing down. Alright, I'll finish the job for you. Lazy zombies. Wow, that took me, what, two hours to search that store? And I found nothing? Oy. What'd be really useful would be a grill top. <laughs> I hear something. Oh, did I search this place already? I searched this place already. Damn it. Well, I didn't search out here. Iron Boots Schematic. Alrighty. Where else? Anything else useful? Yeah, I didn't search back here because I was running away. I'm stealing a TV. I mean, I can't do anything with it, but I'm stealing a TV. Oh, look, it's a bloated walker. Hi. <laughs> Where the hell's the door? Shit. I can't find the door. There we go. Alright. Woo! Animal fat. That's useful. As weird as that sounds, animal fat is very useful in this game. Still haven't met up with too much opposition yet. So far, so good. What else am I looking for? I'm looking for... Still hoping to find leather working. That would be nice. Uh, what else am I looking for? I need a... Uh, uh, forge. That's what I need. I'm looking for the forge book. Hopefully I can find that at some point. Is there a zombie up here or something? No. Hmm. Vitamins! Sounds like there's a zombie on the bloody roof. Alrighty. Sink. Nothing. Cabinet. Nothing. This is a very large bathroom. There we go. Come on, hit the bloody thing. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Uh, paper, brass doorknob. I know paper's useful, but I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet in a lot of things, aren't I? Uh, 
head towards the garage here. Doesn't look like I've been in, in it. Just gotta wait for it to cut open. Gotta be very, very worried about the zombies. Hmm. Something useful. Something useful. Yeah. Somewhat useful. Not really. Bird's nest. Yeah. Man, this is becoming a dud. Hi, dear. This is becoming a waste of a trip, actually. There's really nothing here. Nothing useful, anyways. One would think that the store would have had a something. But not really. So far, the zombies seem to be doing a better job giving me stuff than this area. Hmm. That's a little disappointing, actually. Cloth fragments. I've got a bloated zombie over there to worry about in a, about a minute when he gets down here. Bookcase. Leather tanning! Sweet! I don't see anything else really useful in there. Hi, bloated zombie. Will you give me any more animal fat? Because that would be useful. I see several other zombies coming at me. Alright, let's take you out. And there's somebody I thought so. I didn't think it was a walker, though. I thought I saw, or a crawler. I thought it was something else. Hmm. Give me some more animal fat. Oh, a flashlight! I wanted to fuck with one of these. Okay, so a flashlight doesn't seem to produce light. But if we look at the stats on the flashlight, it says entity damage 6. So I wanted to see what happens if I use it. Got a quick attack. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be doing much damage. Alright, let's move back to my axe. Which I'm gonna have to make another one now. Oh, crap. I am gonna have to make another one. Holy crap. Come on. Die already! Wow, that guy echoed. Animal fat, useful. Nothing. And... Nothing! Nothing really useful, anyways. Alright, let's slide out here. I've got... Another bloated walker to worry about. Let's see if we can make this... New axe fairly quickly. I have no... Stove. Uh, there's one. There you are. Craft you up real quick. No, stick. I know that walker's like right in there. There you are. You're not a problem anymore, buddy. Maybe I'll be able to clear out this entire village. How badly do zombies respawn? I guess that's a very good question. Because, again, reading the wiki, seems to suggest that zombies spawn in the dark. Now, of course, that doesn't make any bloody sense. It's the middle of the day and there are still zombies. So it might be that they just don't spawn in candlelight, maybe? I don't know. But... There's another one. Wait. Ow! No. You die, you don't hit me. That's your purpose in life, is to die. Again. Should probably use some of these painkillers I'm getting. Oh, 
Nope, nothing else. Alright, I'm hearing a zombie. And you're right there. Hiya, why don't you come over here so I can smack you in the face? Reach the fridge. Crap, no. Don't hear anything else around. Oh, nope. Now I hear something else around. A potato! Okay, let's grab the potato. That might be useful. Alright, there's a crawler out there. If I cut up this cardboard box, can I carry it with me by chance? Well, that's a no. I was just thinking, the cardboard box has a lot of storage space. Would be very, very useful. Hi. Thank you. Uh, short iron pipe. Those are useful. Uh, let's check out what this is. It looks like there's a dumpster. Cinder blocks. I think they're useful for something, but I don't remember what. However, they're right there, so it's all good. Nope. So bullet casings, boop. Yeah, it's just garbage. Alrighty. Can I get up here? I can. Easier to get in this way than to get in through the front door. Probably anyways, I don't know. Alright, what else? There goes my axe finally. That axe lasts forever. Slow as hell, though. Again, could really use a fire axe or something. Garbage, garbage. TV stand. Oh, there's two nightstands. Purple tank top, I have one of those. Plaid shirt, I have several of those. I don't need a wardrobe here, people. I'm just trying to survive the apocalypse. Which I guess is an oxymoron at this point, but whatever. Glass jar, scrap iron, since we figured out that was useful. Chicken ration. I know, supposedly I can take these empty cans and turn them into scrap. Don't have a clue how I'm supposed to take tin cans and turn them into scrap iron, but whatever. Cornmeal, I can make cornbread. Uh, venison stew. Plus 5 health, plus 40 fullness, plus 25 hydration. And I got a smell range. So you know what I'm going to do? Thank you, whoever owned this house. I was hungry. Wow. My freaking wellness went up because of that. Man, that's a thing. Moldy bread and pecan. Did I pick up multi bread before? Like earlier, like in the last episode? I don't remember. I hear a zombie out there. Because, yeah, I should probably be picking up the multi bread. Because that's. The, like I said, the you can make antibiotics and you use the multi moldy bread to make the antibiotics. But that's all I know for sure. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how else. Or, like, I don't know if I need to find a book on it or what. Did that just turn from a doorknob to a handle? I hear a zombie very close by. And it's hitting something now. So I'm going to have to worry about that here in a minute. Alright, so we got a dead guy. Pile of trash, cloth fragments, bomb books, books, nothing good. Mm. Scrap iron, painkillers. Yeah, let's take one of those painkillers just real quick. I got lots of them now. Painkillers will very slowly heal me. There's probably a zombie downstairs. Apparently a zombie that just went squish. 
That was a hell of a noise. Uh, I hear you. There you are. Hello, Miss Zombie. Goodbye, Miss Zombie. Oh, I picked something up. I picked up a wooden pillar thing. Alrighty. She is very excited to come meet me. Or should I say meet Mr. Axe? That might... Yeah. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. I'm just... These episodes are really long because I'm doing an entire day in this game. So I kind of start running out of things to talk about. <laughs> this is why I normally keep my episodes down to about a half an hour. Because I don't normally just start going blah, blah, blah. Alright. So I got a bag and a cooler. Nothing in the cooler. Peas. Cloth chest armor, but I have cloth chest armor. Hunting rifle bolt. Alright. Moving along. Let's see, it is 1830. We have time to search another house or two. Or garage or two. There we go. Don't hear anything. Oh, the door was open. I didn't have to do that. Uh, glass panes. Still don't know what the glass panes are for. I do know what the feathers are for, and they were for what I figured they were for. They're for bolts. Egg! Eh. Ooh, that's a tall building. Let's search there. There might be something useful there. Oop. And it's 1830, and I usually try to get inside by 21. So... Let's make this building the last building I search. Because it'll probably take me a little while to actually, you know, get into the building. Because I have to kill all these bloody zombies. And then I have to cut my way in. Oh, and there's even more zombies. And there's another big place over there. Animal fat. I hear something over here, but I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a cheerleader! Hi. Bye. Drop anything useful? Painkillers, oil. I know oil can also, can be turned into gasoline. Gasoline can be used to run augers. I don't have an auger, so I don't care. Of course, I don't know when I'll get an auger because I don't think you can make them if you have to find them. Holy crap with the zombies. Am I carrying something that stinks? No, the nose isn't there. No, I'm just crazy enough to actually be in a freaking city. No, I don't... Eh, fine, I'll pick you up. Red weights. Cheerleader. There's a spider zombie. Painkillers. Lots and lots of painkillers in this city. I wonder if that means something about the residents of this city or the previous residents of this city. Of course, I appear to be killing the previous residents of this city again. It's also very probably... Hey, it's a bunny. <laughs> This is just a random bunny right there. Animal hide. Skinned rabbit. Yes, I know. I stink now. But I can cook food. Quick, 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 quick. Quick like the not bunny that I just killed. Alright, so we got an upstairs to look through. Where are we? I don't know. This is some form of store. Apparently. Uh, and I am definitely attracting zombies. Cold beer here. Old beer here. There's no beer here at all. It's old or cold or otherwise. Uh, nothing. 
head upstairs. Hopefully we can find something useful. More upstairs. Ooh, cardboard box. Yeah. I gotta keep my ear out because there's gonna be zombies coming up those stairs because I'm dumb enough to carry a rabbit. I really shouldn't be carrying the rabbit if I'm doing this, but whatever. Supposedly you can distract zombies, I just don't know how. That sounds like hell coming up those stairs. There's one, and they can't navigate the stairs. All right, let's go with that. Ooh, repair tool. I don't have much in the way of space left. Apparently stairs are a good zombie deterrent. All right. Come on, bookshelf. Damn it. Uh, ammunition nation. I'm gonna have to start using some of these books real quick. Come on. Boop, there we go. Right. There, this way, not only am I learning this stuff, so if I die, I have it. Um, nope. I am freeing up space. I already looked in there. Yeah, freeing up space for more inventory. It's gonna be a bitch and a half to get down, isn't it? Ooh, nice little kitchen. Scrap iron. You know what I could really use? A grill top. A bottle of water. I know I can make one, and I have the parts now, I think, to make one. I think, anyways. Alright. Um, yeah, screw it. I need to get the hell out of here. It's 2014 hours. I need to run the hell away. And there are zombies just around the corner here. Hi. Lots of zombies. That don't know how to navigate stairs. Oh, just gotta get downstairs out the door, and back to the house. So I can put the rabbit away and stop attracting others than zombies. All right, it's getting dark. It's getting fucking dark. All right, home is that away. So let's get to the, whoa, fuck the road, fuck the road. <sighs> All right, back home, back home. Just run like hell. Or, technically, I guess far more accurately, run like hell is directly behind me. Because that seems to be the case. Alright, there's that cliff there. But it looks like there's a way up over here. No. Shit, I'm gonna have to go around the cliff, aren't I? And I'm out of stamina, too. Great. Perfect timing. It's very, very, very dark. Oh, come on, you need to be right here. Because these fuckers are starting to be able to run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is my house? Should be a hell of a lot closer than you are. There you are. Alright, so. Come on, come on, come on. I'm actually getting actively nervous playing this game. Inside. Thank you. All right, refrigerator. So the skinned rabbit can go in there. And now I don't stink. I do have moldy bread, okay. Uh, what else do I got? I got animal fat, which I'm gonna use. Don't need the cornmeal right now. Gotta fill up the glass jar tomorrow. Let's use the iron boot schematics. I should be able to just right click with these. Yep, new recipe unlocked iron boots. Alright, so, ah, god 
damn, is it dark in here. I can't see crap. Alright, so I can do animal fat and turn it into tallow. Yeah. Uh, 540. Oh, shoot. I am out of wood, basically. Well, I don't need that much tallow. Uh, let's see, how do I make a candle? Uh, I need grass, or plant fibers and tallow. So let's make a few plant fibers. I do like the, the, the whole, it takes time to craft things, because it does feel a little bit more realistic. Can you make anything out of grass directly? Or should I just instantly create thing or put things into plant fiber? I don't know. Boop, boop. There, now I have a TV. It's useless, but now I have a TV. Alright, so that gives me some tallow. So I can make me some candles. And then I can light up the area and make for better YouTube videos. Because it was bloody dark in the last video. <laughs> I apologize for that. I try my damnedest. Alright, so let's put some candles up around here. Can I not put the candle there? Oh, apparently I can't. Alright. Uh, here. There's a wasp outside. Yay. I'm still undetected, but it's right outside the fucking window. You bastard. Alright, I have light over there. Let's put some light over here for when the campfire goes out. Aight. And then I'll put some light upstairs. Like right there will work. And that's pretty well lit up from the torch. So we'll go with that for now and see what works. Alrighty. Well then. What else do I need to cook? Lots of shit, actually. So let's take the tallow out of here. Let's put some bottled water in here with some goldenrod flowers. And see how much we can cook before I run out of wood. Because that's a small problem. Craft me up some more candles so I, I'll just keep them on hand in case I need them. I do have more wood planks. This is good. I have scrap iron. What was I going to make with the pipes? Oh, I remember what I was going to make with the pipes gonna do this with the pipes. You take the short iron pipes, you can turn them into uh, metal scraps. Lots of them, too. And then let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I have to learn it. I have to learn it, because I can't do it. Bastard. Supposedly you can make a grill top, but apparently you have to learn how to make a grill top. Oop. All right, so let's put those away. Let's leave the scrap iron away for right now. Food. Food. Stone. Just organizing my stuff. Let's see, is there anything else really useful I can do on video right now? Let's check out that leather thing, because I can make I have leather now. Uh, alright. I can make leather couch corners. Uh, so I need just leather. No. L-E-A. Leather takes one animal hide. And it crafts into two leather. Alright. I can make leather strips. I can make leather gloves. I can make a leather couch arm. Which, yeah, we're totally going to do because 
That couch is ugly as fudge. Uh, but for right now... I need a fuck ton of leather. Uh, but, uh, yeah, for right now, let's upgrade our armor a little bit. Let's make some leather gloves. I know, it's the only leather I have, but this is kind of the only real useful use for leather that we have. So there we go. Now we have some leather gloves, and I will focus on killing animals and getting animal hide later. How many gold rod tea do we get? Three. Not a lot. Alrighty, well, I think that pretty much wraps it up for the show, especially since it's 3 in the morning. So I'm going to do what I normally do and end the episode here. Get me some food real quick. Well, you know what? Since I'm going to be hiding, I'll just hide right here in the middle of the house and eat some of the chili. I like the noise it makes. It actually made noise that, like my stomach was upset. That's awesome. And yeah, that should get me through the night. And I am a little disappointed that the flashlights didn't do anything. I could just hit things with it. It doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, but alrighty. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.